the honeydew carpenter I'm in my shop here today we're gonna to be building some double wall pipe we're gonna be doing the sheet metal portion of the pipe um, I did some drawings that was just kind of my envision of what it's gonna end up and look like and I want to show those to you real quick so you just kind of have an idea of what it is that we're building right now obviously you've got the 5 inch stove pipe inside of a 7 inch stove pipe which will give us one inch of uh, insulation around the entire thing which should be plenty and in this example obviously it's a 36 inch long piece let's um, bring it around now um, all this area inside here is where we're gonna pour it with the insulated air creep alright guys for this project we're going to need to make a tool and inherently stove pipe isn't a perfect circle and doesn't have an oval but if we while we're d b making the bends on it maintain a perfect circle it'll stay that way and so in order to do it I'm going to use this scrap pe piece of wood that we had left over from another project um, the balance board yeah, yeah if you're interested in, in that project we have a uh, video on that as well. Oh, yeah. Click up in the right hand corner. And uh, I have this set exactly at 3 and 7 16, which is the exact radius I need to be 6 and 7 8. So it's half of that. So I'm going to just do a circle. And if you're interested in the jig I use and the methods to cut this circle out, you can go ahead and click in the, on, the, on the link above. There it is. Just a perfect, a little bit smaller than 7 inch circle. I took and cut out where the rib is. Can you see that, babe? Mm -hmm. It needed a little indention. So I cut out a little indention on it and it's kind of a bear to get started but once it's in it's really close to perfect oh that one's too bad and it pushes down <clears throat> just until it hits this indention right here can you see that sweetie yeah yeah, and uh, there we go. That's going to keep our pipe perfectly round. We're going to measure roughly one inch. So from the bottom of this rib, to the top of this rib is one inch now this right here is called a stiffener rib it goes all the way around we're gonna g just cut right to the top of that stiffener rib Okay, this is where I ended up. I'm gonna wonder if we just do them a little at a time, all the way around, if that'll work best. And I think it will. This one. We might make the pancakes together. Yeah, we're gonna make pancakes here in a minute, buddy.
Sometimes when you're working with sheet metal, you notice I don't have a pencil or anything in my compass. It's better just to scratch it. remove our circle jig that we used to get everything just exactly perfect. It kept it perfectly round so everything should be centered when we put that in the middle. In order to maintain a perfect circle on our inner pieces, I had to build another tool. I do that a lot. If I don't have a right tool, I just build a jig. And so I've got some five inch circles that are cut out to hold it in place. And there. So that's our tool. Easy enough. Made it a good tight fit, and boom, just like that. Now I gotta get the top one to go in. There we go. And that's it. That'll make sure that we maintain a perfect circle and then when we pour the concrete in it the last thing we want to do is have concrete set up in it in an oval shape hey guys so that's it for today uh, coming up we also have uh, I'm gonna be building an elbow that we're gonna insulate and also um, we're obviously gonna be pouring the air crete in though so stay tuned for the stuff we got coming up if you like what we're doing here Go ahead and give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And also, uh, you can check us out on our Etsy store at Honeydew Carpenter Shop on Etsy. Etsy. Not Etsy. Etsy!